Hello to our entire SD308 community. Over the course of the last year, we have all been faced with many challenges. The challenges that began last March and that have continued through the 2021 school year have been like no other. Over the next seven weeks, I'm excited to bring, begin a series of video messages to help keep you connected and informed on what's going on in our school district. In these periodic updates, I'll share our plans for the future, current events, progress on projects and goals, and accomplishments. For this first message, I'd like to begin by sharing with you that our plans for next fall are well underway. As I've said before, our district is looking forward to starting in August with a full return five days each week of school. During the past couple of weeks, I've been asked what is there to plan for outside of the normal planning process that goes into the start of the school year now that you've stated that our students are coming back to regular full days of learning. In order for the transition to be successful, our students, families, and staff, there are many things for us to consider. For some students, the school year will be met with enthusiasm, and for some students, the beginning of the year will be the first time that they've walked into our schools for some time. Not only is this experience not familiar, but some will be fearful. The mission of School District 308 is to educate all students to reach their highest potential. In order to accomplish our mission, we need to assess where students are at and to measure and address learning gaps. Several committees of teachers, staff, and administrators are meeting to discuss what we can do to prepare for next school year, to be certain that we understand where students are emotionally and academically, and to provide the correct supports and services. There will be an emphasis on differentiated instruction to meet the needs of students that have struggled as well as those who have thrived during remote and hybrid instruction. Prior to next year, we will be offering three different summer school programs that are each unique to help prepare our students to have a successful 21-22 school year. These programs include Summer Connections, a free program funded by a federal grant that will be offered to approximately 2,000 elementary and junior high students that have been identified as at risk academically. ESY, or what is referred to extended school year. This program is run every summer for identified special education students with significant needs, where students are supported and monitored on applicable individual education program goals. And expanded traditional summer school offerings. We are expanding our usual summer school offerings to include more classes, especially in math. As you can see, not only are we planning for next fall, but we are also looking at what needs to be done this summer to prepare our students for a successful future. In closing, I would like to thank you for taking a few minutes to listen to this message. And as I stated earlier, this is the first in a series that I will be sending out over the next couple of months, sharing our plans to ensure a smooth and successful beginning to the 21-22 school year. Thank you and have a great day.